Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Prepared, Part 7. Our scripture is Ephesians, Chapter 6. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. And pray for me, too. Ask God to give me the right words so I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan that the good news is for Jews and Gentiles alike. I'm in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassador, so pray that I will keep on speaking boldly for Him as I should. Today we finish our little excursion into the preparedness of a soldier of the cross. If you're like me, the one thing that troubles you every time the subject of prayer arises is, how in the world can I develop a prayer life? I've got a zillion things to do. The kids won't be quiet. The dog barks. The pot boils over. My boss hates me. My business and finances are in shambles. And April 15th is almost here. Preacher, it's not that the wolf is at the door. That wolf has moved in and had pups under my kitchen table. And you want me to pray. (laughs) My experience has been that we don't pray because we've not grasped the importance of prayer. Chuck Swindoll tells in one of his books about a group of amateur climbers who were scaling part of the Matterhorn near Zermatt, Switzerland. As they came to a narrow, hazardous passage about to make a turn, a gust of wind swept down on them. The experienced guide, knowing the danger that this posed for the groups, quickly shouted, Get down on your knees. You're safe only on your knees. My dear Christian brother or sister, you will never have enough time to do all you have to do until you take time with Jesus in prayer. Prayer is a matter of unending communion with our Lord. In his book, Purpose and Prayer, E.M. Bounds quotes these words from former college professor and Confederate soldier, General Thomas Stonewall Jackson. Quote, I have so fixed the habit of prayer in my mind that I never raise a glass of water to my lips without asking God's blessing. Never seal a letter without putting a word of prayer under the seal. Never take a letter from the post without a brief sending of my thoughts heavenward. Never change my classes in the lecture room without a minute's petition for the cadets who go out and for those who come in. End of quote. For you today, when a soldier has been properly outfitted and trained and pointed in the right direction, there's only one sensible thing left to do. Join the fight. I don't know what that means for you tomorrow or even this afternoon. God is the one who defines and directs the strategy. But I suggest you keep an attitude of prayer and an open heart. He'll bring you into the battle at the right time, right where you're needed. Someday, the battle is going to be in front of you. The question to settle right now, right here, so that you'll be ready on that day, is that your life belongs to the Lord who gave his life for you. That's the decision Christ invites you to make for him. Come and die, Christian. Come and die to self and find life in him. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.